You play as a customizable space pirate captain who carries a sword, a gun, and a jetpack as basic equipment. Your character and weapons can also be enhanced with augments, which grant special abilities and let you experiment with different effects in combat. Trapping foes in a time-slowing bubble, for example, or freezing them in place with chained electricity. Enemies can also use augments, like these scientists who can heal their soldier buddies with augmented bullets, so you'll want to get a close look at who's carrying what and plan your strategy accordingly. In order to see what your enemies have equipped, you'll need your spyglass, which displays the stats, skills, and augments of other characters, as well as revealing more details about locations and points of interest, even from space. It's a key part of recruiting, too. Take a close look at an NPC with your spyglass, and you'll see if they have any skills worth adding to your space pirate crew. Of course, your crew isn't the only company you can bring along. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is an online game, and while you can play solo, co-op buddies can jump in or out at any time. You won't be tethered together either, and if you want to wander off and explore while another player does their own thing, you're free to do so. Welcome to Ganesha City, a dense, vertically built metropolis where the rich live at the top and the poor huddle in shanty towns built into the sides of the city's foundations. It's sprawling and richly detailed, and it's just one small corner of a moon called Soma, itself just a small piece of Beyond Good and Evil 2's gigantic open world. It's also built for aerial exploration, so in addition to your jetpack, you'll have access to a wide selection of flying vehicles. Any vehicle you see can be commandeered and driven, and they can all tune in to Radio Cheetah, a station by Space Pirates for Space Pirates. You'll also be able to fully customize your own rides, swapping out modules, wings, engines, equipment, and cosmetic options to tailor your machines to look good and hold their own in a fight. You'll need special equipment or skills to take on larger vessels, but your fighter ships are agile, able to execute barrel rolls, lock onto targets with homing missiles, and dogfight with police if you inadvertently break some city law like flying too close to a major tourist attraction or robbing a bank. And like your weapons, ships can be equipped with augments, enabling you to do things like firing healing missiles at your co-op partners. Your ships are also capable of hitting extreme speeds, covering thousands of kilometers in a matter of seconds. This is essential for getting around planets in a hurry, as well as for flying out into orbit to rendezvous with your mothership, a huge vessel that serves as your home base. Even out here in orbit, you can seamlessly transition from piloting a ship to spacewalking with a nano spacesuit to protect you from the vacuum. Popping out of the cockpit and into the cold abyss of space allows you to use your spyglass to investigate a planet, peering down at treasure-hiding geoglyphs, cities, and settlements, all of which are still buzzing with activity far below you, enabling your co-op partner to explore and interact normally with city life even when you're this far apart. Alternately, you can switch over to the Universe map, a fully 3D rendering of System 3 that can be zoomed in and out to give you an overview of everything from close-ups of a planet's surface to the continuously orbiting layout of the entire system. For more, watch the full Beyond Good and Evil 2 livestream linked in the description below. And to find out more as it develops, be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.